valve ran it, pull it off. Hi, welcome to our engine shop. This is Dave Bush. We're here at DBR trying to develop our Level 1 Mercury XS300 bolt-on engine kit. We've, uh, we've been playing with this engine for a good solid year. It's been, uh, oh, it's been very humbling. I'm going to look at a cheat sheet a little bit to make sure I cover all the topics. But this is a bolt-on kit that you take a stock engine bolt a kit on, it's roughly a thousand dollars for a kit and recently we've seen in the area of on a boat here we have a, we've seen the area of about three to four mile an hour difference on the water depending on the boat but on the engine itself here in the diner room we're seeing anywhere between 25 and 30 horsepower all through the power curve um, we've uh, like I said we've been a year developing this thing it's really been a challenge. Um, I have to say Mercury Marine, the engineers there, they, they really have their stuff together. It's been, like again, very humbling. I've spent years at this console with all of my friends and, and people that I develop and race with, and uh, this stock direct inject thing is, is quite an engineering feat. It's been a phenomenal engine. We've got about 99 hours on this engine, wide open throttle. And I mean, we literally have tried to scatter this thing, and it's, it's amazing there isn't parts all over Lake Havasu. Uh, things pretty much bulletproof. As you just saw, we've been endurance testing, and we can run these things wide open, full throttle, simulate anything that goes on the lake. So it's, uh, it's been really fun, interesting, and we're really happy to say that we have a kit that we're really confident can stand behind that you just bolt it on, and your boat will improve performance. There is a must. There's always sort of a catch. You have to modify the cowling. Um, you, this, like a 2.5 drag Formula One engine, you've got to take your stock cowling, plug the back where all the water comes in that everybody knows about. You simply, if you plug the back off, pop a big hole in the front of the cowling on, bolt this thing on. We do a, we do a sensor change and some remapping. Uh, things of no brainer. Um, the back to my cheat sheet uh, oh biggest most important thing these mercury engines mercury requires 91 octane fuel if we just have to stick with 91 octane fuel we should keep things reliable um, simple if you have to put 87 in or a lesser fuel and you have our kit on you just don't run the thing wide open and go try to kill it um, 91 octane is a, a, a must um, this kit is called level 1.1. We're working on 1.2 right now. We have a throttle body and a tuner that's going to jump onto this. This thing should make around 340 horsepower at least. Today I don't know that the weather is different. We ran it just we haven't run this for a week but we were out on the boat with it the other day. As a matter of fact this is the testing on the boat and here's GPS curves where every, every run on the boat was was under 100 under, under 100 we're all in the 97 range and this is a level one kit out on the water on another boat where every pass on the engine is over well over a hundred so we're, we, we are seeing gains here gains on the lake really excited the heat soaking issue that's very common to these excesses we've, we've been battling that for a year we, we have more of a handle on it now than we ever have and uh, couple cents, just a sensor change, a map change, a thousand dollar kit, you'll pick up a bunch of performance. I think uh, our two kit again, a tuner and a throttle body, that's in the works. We're getting great results there. We'll be doing another video and letting you guys know about that here pretty soon. Should see another 20-ish horsepower. So hopefully we're going to be in the 360 plus range on this direct inject engine. Um, I think Brandon will uh, will fire up the fans and water and we'll sh just show you guys a, just a simple dyno pull video all the logging this land and sea software I've used numerous softwares this stuff is just amazing we use mercury software we monitor the weather we use a lot of third-party aftermarket we measure the wind speed of the cowling we can duplicate the real world in here it's a that's just a whole subject a whole story in itself I could spend like I said a couple years ago I could talk about this dyno forever. It's been 
an absolute blast to build it. We've learned, we've never stopped learning, and we're 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 never going to understand it fully. But uh, we're getting real close. So let us make a run here, show you. Hopefully, this thing doesn't throw parts all over the shop. But uh, we'll run a, a simple dyno pull here. Yeah. It'll be a simple sweep from 1600 RPM to 7000, and maybe you can hear about the rev limiter. Um, we should be good. The, uh, The engine's idling really happy at 5,500, or 550 RPM now, 600, so we're going to temperature, the engine's up to temperature, so we're just going to do a, about a 20 second pull to uh, to roughly 100 miles an hour. You good there, Brandon? Yeah. stock excess to this level 1.1 excess and they should hopefully if all this works right it'll pop up and it make good power as you can see from the graph that was 345 horsepower we increased the torque enormously you can see how the engine just over revs like crazy on the top pulls out that you heard the thing pound the rev limiter and it's uh, 6800 it's just papping the rev limiter but it'll pull on out so this would probably pull a larger prop. Um, it for sure accelerates a ton quicker. And based on the, this data here from the the boat, clearly it goes from 98 to 102 ish. So we're we're what we're seeing on the dyno is working in the real world. Um, this thing's over 340 horsepower. That pull made 347 horsepower. If you pull, this is unfiltered data. If you pull the data out, it'd be, a, you know, right in the, it's, it's darn close to 350. So again, level 1.1, 1 is um, in the works with a tuner. I don't see it being too long before we're off. Uh, we're up above 350, for sure over 350, but we're gonna be bumping 360. And then we'll get into the, um, level two stuff what's going to be bigger pistons and large cubic inch like our racing engine um see some big numbers that's a compressor yeah. uh, we're done for the day thanks guys